Hey, my name is Nico. So you want to create macros to improve your workflow in your DAW? But you don't know where to get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and set up macros in Keyboard Maestro to do exactly that in Pro Tools. You can apply the same process with any DAW. I'm using an Elgato Stream Deck to trigger the macros. I'm gonna make two different macros. One is gonna be super simple and one is gonna be a little bit more complicated. So the first macro is going to trigger a shortcut that's already available in Pro Tools. The second one is going to recall an insert plugin chain. In Keyboard Maestro, I nest all of my Pro Tools macros together to make it easy to find and modify them. You do that by creating a group, and making the group available for the application Pro Tools. The shortcut I'm going to trigger toggles on and off the input monitor for tracks that are in record arm. Under the macro, click the plus sign, label it whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna label it input monitor. Press new trigger and select USB device key trigger. Press the button on your stream deck that you like to use to trigger that shortcut. Click new action, Look for type a keystroke. Do the shortcut you want here. For example, I want shift I pressed. Congratulations. <laughs> you now have a simple macro that can trigger on and off the input monitor. Five minutes later. Okay, now let's create a second macro that will recall a plugin chain. For this shortcut, you will have to hover over the plugin assignment to make it work. Before you set the macro, you need to figure out the steps you need to do by either clicking on your mouth or typing on the keyboard. One amazing thing with Pro Tools is that you can type the name of the recall you want to use. For this example, I'm going to recall the Avid Mastering plugin chain. So let's see what the steps are to make it happen. You can see if I click on an insert and start typing mastering, that insert recall mastering plugin chain will appear and be highlighted. Just press return on your keyboard to select it. So we need to have Keyboard Maestro do all that for us. Under Macro, click the plus sign, label it whatever you want it to be. For this one, we're gonna call it Mastering Plugin. Press New Trigger, select USB Device Key Trigger. Press the button on your Stream Deck that you like to use to trigger that shortcut. The first action you will create is Move and Click and you'll set it from current location. This will simulate a mouse click at the position of your mouse cursor. Set it without dragging and from current mouse location. Now you want to use the action type keystroke. You want to use this keystroke action to type the name of the recall you want to use. So here I'm going to duplicate the keystroke action and I'm going to repeat that until I spell the word mastering. Finally, you just want to use the keystroke return to select that recall. And now, now let's try it to see if it works. And that's it. Now, every time you press that button over an insert, that mastering recall will pop up and be loaded. If you want to try and learn a more advanced macro that I use for my mixing setup, the macro I use will change the output assignment of a track, set it to the correct bus, and change the color to a specific one that I use for my setup. Please check out the video I made about it. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.